Welcome to Excel in a minute. In Excel there are elements that can help you with partial matching or when the value that you're trying to look up is limited or incomplete. These elements are called wildcards. There are two wildcards that you can use with the match function, the asterisk and the question mark. In this video, you will get to know the two. Let's start with the asterisk. The asterisk is used to replace any sequence of characters. If the asterisk replaces any characters, the question mark replaces only a single character. In this worksheet, let's match South Korea using its abbreviation as our lookup value. To do that, let's begin by inserting equals match. For the lookup value, remember that we only want to use the abbreviation. To make that happen, key in an asterisk enclosed in quotations replacing the characters before the abbreviation. Next, key in an ampersand then click on your lookup value. Great. Now, let's select the lookup range and key in zero for exact matching, then enter. There you have it. Using only the abbreviation, you have matched Korea to row number nine. This time let's use the next wildcard, the question mark. Let's match for the word country, however, let's replace some of its letters and see what happens. All right, let's key in another equals match. For the lookup value, let's use the word country, but replacing the third and last letter with a question mark. You can do this or key it in manually. If you key it manually, don't forget to enclose it in quotations. Great. Next, let's select the lookup range followed by the match type zero, then enter. There you have it. Country belongs to row number one. The question mark as a wildcard comes in handy when you're unsure of the full text. You can simply replace the letters with question marks. You can now be more flexible with your lookups using the match function. If you want to learn partial matching for numbers, head to our match function approximate matching video. On the other hand, if you had a hard time understanding this function, please go to our match function exact matching video to learn the basics of the match function. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you on the next lesson.